Hey, just a quick how-to video, and I'm sure this has happened to some of you, and I hope that this will help in the future. I just learned about it. So imagine you come out to your tractor, you go ahead and turn the switch, nothing. Well, there's a million things that it could be. First of all, make sure your battery's charged. I'm gonna see if my, okay, my lights work, so my battery's good. So now, let's look at the fuses. All right, your fuse box is right here, and Let's look at the starter. So here's the starter relay. It's gonna be this fuse right here. And take it out, hold it up to the light, and you can see this is blown. All right, you see the little connection there is all burned off. So you could try replacing the fuse. I did that a couple times, but it keeps blowing. So I just found out what the problem is. All right, come over to the side of your engine. My tractor is the 5045E, but this is the same in a lot of models. And this right here is your thermostat, and this is a sensor for the thermostat. If you disconnect this and then put a new fuse in, let's see if that works. Okay, here's a brand new 10 amp mini fuse and the starter relay. Go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so I did some sleuthing on the internet, reputable dealerships, etc. Lots of good shade tree mechanics. And they said you can run your tractor without that thermostat sensor. People do it all the time. I ran it for about an hour, keeping an eye on the temperature gauge. But just to make this a proper repair, I went ahead and ordered this. You can see the model number there. It was less than $50 online. Here's a brand new one. So it's a super easy fix. You just unscrew that one, screw this one in, plug the harness together, and it should be good. All right, they've got this screwed in pretty tight, so I got channel locks on here. I also read not to screw it in too tightly. So I'll get this out and come back in just a minute. All right, put a bucket down there because you're gonna lose some antifreeze. All right, I'm gonna put the new one in. It's pretty tight in there, let me tell you. Okay, I'm just cleaning up any of that extra coolant. I've got this nice and snug. I've reconnected the wiring harness. Real easy, just plug it together. And now when you start it, you wanna make sure you don't have any fluid spraying or dripping out of there. So let's give it a try. Yeah. 